Welcome friends. Today's topic is top 10 fascinating facts about some of the most unique aquatic creatures under the sea water with full expert analysis of the real facts. Before starting the video one request to all of you that if you think the video is informative then please subscribe my channel and like, share the video. Let's start. Fact 1. It is a common myth that sharks can smell a drop of blood from a mile away. Do you know that? Is it true or false? The real fact is. It is not true. Remember friends. It is a common myth that sharks can smell a drop of blood from a mile away. But it is not a real fact. The farthest distance at which a shark can smell blood is about a quarter of a mile. This is because blood dissolves quickly in water, and the concentration of blood molecules decreases as the distance from the source increases. Sharks have a highly developed sense of smell, which is up to 10,000 times more powerful than that of humans. This means that they can detect very small concentrations of blood in the water. However, even sharks cannot smell a single drop of blood from a mile away but sharks can detect blood from very far away. Fact 2. Do you know that, which mammal is both the biggest and the largest living creature on earth? Correct answer is, blue whale. Yes friends. The biggest mammal and the largest living creature on earth is the blue whale. Blue whales can grow up to 100 feet long and weigh up to 200 tons. They are filter feeders, meaning they eat tiny organisms called krill by filtering them out of the water. Blue whales are found in all of the world's oceans, but they prefer to live in deep, cold waters. Fact 3. Can you tell Tooth Walker is the nickname of which animal? Correct answer is, walrus. Yes friends. The nickname Tooth Walker is commonly given to the walrus. This is because walruses use their long tusks to pull themselves up onto ice and land. They also use their tusks to defend themselves from predators and to dig for food. The walrus, Odobinus rosmaris, is a large marine mammal that is found in the Arctic and subarctic regions of the Northern Hemisphere. Walruses are pinnits, which means they are related to seals and sea lions. However, walruses are the only pinnips with tusks. Fact 4. Do you know that which one of the following fish that can live without water? Options are A. Puffer fish B. Porcupine fish C. Killifish Correct answer is C. Killifish Yes friends, it is a real fact that for a period of time the mangrove killifish spends several months of every year out of the water, living inside rotting branches and tree trunks. Here is a short summary of the key characteristics of killifish. A. Small, colorful fish found in fresh and brackish waters around the world. B. Known for their ability to survive in harsh conditions. C. Short lifespans. D. Slender bodies with long, pointed snouts. E. Large eyes and brightly colored scales. F. Onivorous diet. G. Important part of the ecosystem and popular aquarium fish. Fact 5. Can you say that, which one of the following undersea creatures are known for making electricity? A. Elephant nose fish. B. Killifish. C. Blue whale. Correct answer is A. Elephant nose fish. Yes, friends. It is a real fact that elephant nose fish are a type of fish that uses electricity to navigate in murky waters. They generate a weak electrical field, which they use to detect objects around them. Elephant nose fish are found in Africa. Remember friends there have just a few of the many undersea creatures that are known for making electricity are. Electric eels can generate up to 860 volts of electricity. Found in the Amazon and Orinoco rivers in South America. Electric rays can generate up to 220 volts of electricity found in all of the world's oceans. Electric catfish 
can generate up to 400 volts of electricity. Found in Africa and the Nile River. Fact 6. Do you know which male animals become pregnant and keeps its young inside a pouch? Correct answer is. Male sea hose. Listen friends. The real fact is, male seahorses are the only known animals in the world to get pregnant and give birth to young. They have a special pouch on their abdomen where they keep their eggs until they hatch. The female seahorse deposits her eggs into the male's pouch where they are fertilized. The male then carries the eggs for about two to four weeks until they hatch into fully formed baby seahorses. Fact 7. Have you any idea about the fastest fish in the world? Listen, the fastest fish in the world is sailfish. Yes, friends. The fastest fish in the world is the Indo-Pacific sailfish. It can reach speeds of up to 110 km per hour, 68 miles per hour. Sailfish are found in tropical and subtropical waters around the world and they are known for their long, slender bodies and their high dorsal fin. They are predators and they use their speed to chase down their prey, which includes fish, squid and crustaceans. Fact 8. Do you know what is called study of fishes? Correct answer is Ichthyology Yes, friends. The study of fish is called ichthyology. It is a branch of zoology that deals with the biology, classification, and distribution of fish. Ichthyologists study a wide variety of fish, including bony fish, cartilaginous fish, and jawless fish. They study the anatomy, physiology, behavior, and ecology of fish. They also study the effects of human activities on fish populations. Fact 9. Is it true that jellyfish is a fish? The answer is no. Jellyfish are not fish. Listen friends. Jellyfish are not fish. The real fact is, they are invertebrates, which means they do not have a backbone. Jellyfish are also cenidarians, which is a phylum of animals. That includes anemones, corals, and hydras. Cenidarians are characterized by their stinging tentacles, which they use to capture prey and defend themselves. Jellyfish and fish may look similar, but they are actually very different animals. Fact 10. Do you know, what are the name of sea fishes which are blow themselves up like balloons? Correct answer is. Porcupine fish and puffer fish. Yes, friends. Porcupine fish and puffer fish look like normal fish most of the time. When they are threatened, porcupine fish and puffer fish defend themselves by swallowing water and expanding their bodies into a ball shape, growing several times larger than their normal size. This unusual defense mechanism makes them appear larger and more difficult to swallow, deterring predators. While inflated, the fish's body is also covered in spines, making it even more unappealing to predators. Once the danger has passed, the fish will slowly deflate to its normal size. Thank you friends to watch full video. If you think this video was interesting and informative then please subscribe my channel and like, share the video. Don't forget to do your valuable comments.